and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and before we get into today's video I want to let you guys know about our latest addition to the channel. We now have a merch store that is actually live for you guys to buy your own Moldy merch on the internet. So this launched yesterday on the 5th of November so if you've not checked it out yet I'll leave a link in the description below we got some really cool items on there just like this shirt that I'm wearing and uh, we've got jumpers hats socks stickers anything you want to buy go and check it out and profits go to making the channel better than it already is so thank you very much for anyone who's already bought stuff and for those of you who haven't Go and check it out and let's get on with the video. A little while ago I made a video on my channel about the cars, about movie cars that I would like to see added to GTA Online because we already have quite a lot of movie cars or movie inspired cars in GTA Online and I made a video uh, talking about some of the cars that I would like to see that we don't already have. But I thought today I wanted to mix it up a little bit and kind of do the opposite. I wanted to have a look at some of the cars from movies that are already in GTA Online. So it's going to be in no particular order. Um, we have got a few cars from the same movie series. So for example there's a lot of Fast and Furious inspired cars. Now before we get into this video it has taken a lot of effort to make this video. All of the GTA cars that you're going to see I have had to go and spawn in as mods and customize them as closely as possible so that's taken me a long time. I've also had to photograph them all and I've had to find all the sort of movie pictures um, so you guys can see uh, like where they came from so um, it has taken a lot of effort as I said if you didn't if you do go to if you do go on to enjoy this video please drop it a like and also subscribe if you're new we're trying to reach 200 subscribers so if you think your friends will like this as well don't forget to share it with those uh, but with that out of the way let's get it started with our first car so our first car today is uh, Bumblebee. Um, so it's actually not the Volkswagen Beetle from the Bumblebee movie because we can't get a Beetle in GTA Online, unfortunately. Um, so I've had to go with sort of the Transformers One Bumblebee, and to use to do this um, to to make this car, I have used the Imponte Nightshade, as you can see from the photo. Uh, it's quite a simple one. It doesn't look exactly like the the movie car, um, but yeah. And then moving on to our second car, we have um, the fabulous Hudson Hornet from Cars. This is Doc Hudson, uh, as you can see from the paint job. I couldn't actually find a picture of him, sort of like with all his things. So I've had to get this toy photo. Um, but the paint job that you can get in GTA Online is really similar. It is a bit more like rusted out. So in the movie, he's not actually like rusty. Um, so this paint job is a bit more rusty. But you can tell that that is what it's supposed to be. And then I've just got some simple wheels on there. I think they're just muscle wheels. And I've just painted those red. So for this, I have used the Hermes, I think it's called. Um, it's one of the cars on the sort of air ride suspension thing. Um, so yeah. The next car we have the black Chevy Nova from Death Proof Movie. Now I don't believe this car has a name specifically. Um, but in the movie um, the stunt driver um, he basically he, he believes his car is like death proof. Like it, it's indestructible. Uh, that hence the name of the movie title and he basically goes around killing a load of young women it's a bit of a strange movie um but his car is like really iconic he's got the matte black chevy nova with the skull on the bonnet and we can actually get that car in gta online so for this i've used the vamos um that came out with the um, arena wars dlc i think 
Um, and it's really easy to do. You just paint it matte black, paint the wheels black, and put the skull on the bonnet. Then the next car is probably a fan favourite among you guys. Let me know in the comment section. We've got the Eleanor Mustang from Gone in 60 Seconds. This is a really easy one to do. Um, I've used the Vapidelli, as you guys can probably imagine. The Vapidelli is actually uh, sort of a reference to the Eleanor Mustang. Ellie, Eleanor, it's the same kind of thing. And it's really easy to do, as I said. Literally, all you got to do is paint it grey. you just got to keep the stock wheels on. And then you just got to apply the livery with the two, the two stripes. And that is it. It's a really simple one to do. And it's really close to the movie. Because it already has all the um, sort of the body kit on it. The next one is also probably a fan favourite among you guys. And that is the uh, the Futo I've used here. That is the um, it's Toyota Corolla uh, from the Initial D manga series. So if you've never seen that before, I've never actually watched it before, but I do know about this car because it's quite famous. Um, I believe the young lad, uh, he goes around delivering pizzas or something like that. Or he's a delivery guy and in his spare time he drifts his car. So uh, just used the Futo, kept the stock wheels, painted them black, painted the bottom matte black, and painted the top white. Unfortunately, we can't get delivery, but it's as close as we can get it. The next car, you might not actually know where this one comes from, and I have put this one down as Iron Man's Audi R8. It's Tony Stark's Audi R8. Um, you can see here he's getting out of the car. I've tried to recreate it as close as I can. There's not a whole lot you need to do with this. I kept the stock wheels and I just painted it grey. That is pretty much all you have to do with this car. I tinted the windows out a little bit as well just to make it look a bit more like sporty. Um, but if you were doing sort of like an Avengers type car meet or something then you could take this car and as long as your character looked like Tony Stark then I think most people will probably get it. So it's not really that close one, uh, not that close uh, sort of link to the real thing but I just threw it on here because I mean he uses it in the movie and he also has an orange one in the later movies um, so you could also try and make that one. Uh, if you wanted to, uh, but he always seems to go with an Audi R8, so I thought I'd put it on this list. The next one you probably all have seen, um, if you've seen the new Johnny English film, Johnny English 3, or Johnny English Strikes Again, then you will know about this car. Um, it is the uh, Aston Martin uh, V8 from the new Johnny English film, as I mentioned. To make this car in GT Online, I have used the the Rapid GT Classic. Um, it's it's pretty much identical to the real car, and all you've got to do is paint it red, and just switch the wheels up. Uh, make them. I think I used some muscle wheels on here. Um, just make them a little bit closer to the movie. In the movie, the car breaks down a lot as well. Um, it runs out of fuel at one point, so if you shoot the um, engine bay a little bit, you could get it smoking or something, make it look sort of more like the movie. Um, but it's a really simple car to make. I didn't even have to paint it red because I spawned it in red. Uh, but just paint it red and change up the wheels and you're good to go. The next car... Um, you might have seen this car, it, it's from quite an old movie, it's from Need for Speed, it's the uh, Koningsegg Agera R. Um, now you could go for any three of the Ageras, because there was three identical Ageras in that movie, there was a white one, a red one and a silver one, or grey one. Um, but the most sort of iconic of the three is the red one, because it has the most screen time, so you could go for all three. I've decided to just go for the red one um, because to me it's the one that most stands out. For this I've used the new, um, it's the new Koenigsegg car that came out, I think it was with gun running. I can't think what it's actually called at the moment. Um, it's not that hard to make. I changed up the hood to add those two black vents as you can see. I've obviously changed up the spoiler. 
You can't get the identical spoiler from the movie. Uh, this is the closest one that I could get. Um, so yeah, unfortunately as well, you can't remove the splitter on the front because in the movie it didn't actually have a splitter on the front. Uh, so you can't remove that. So I've just made it black so it doesn't stand out that much and I've just changed up the wheels to some nice black sport wheels. Um, so it's quite a simple build again, um, but this car is quite expensive. So if you know what it's called, please let me know in the comment section because I've forgotten at this moment in time. The next car you might not have thought that this was ever in a movie because some of you probably have never seen this movie or even never heard of this movie. Um, but this is the uh, Bugatti Type 57 that came from the Overdrive movie. Now for those of you who've seen that movie they'll be going oh yeah I know I know what he's on about. You can see from the picture I have on screen Basically, it's sort of like a Need for Speed, Fast and Furious type film, wherein they rob the Bugatti Type 57. It's a £30 million car, and they put it in the back of the semi-truck, and they basically steal this really expensive car. It's like a car heist movie, basically. And um, it never occurred to me that we actually had that car in GTA Online until I watched that movie again. And I was like, that looks really similar to the Z-Type. So I googled the Z-Type and that's what it's most primarily based off. So you can make this car in GTA. It's really easy to do. All you got to do, get a Z-Type and paint it black. That is literally all I've done with this, this car. Uh, it looks very similar actually to the real life car. Um, the Z-Type is a beautiful looking car in my opinion. It's a really cool movie. Um, if you've not seen it, definitely watch it because it's a really good movie. And if you're having a movie car show, then this will stand out because a lot of people, not a lot of people, sorry, will probably know about this film. So, yeah, pick up yourself a Z-Type and paint it black. Now, the next one, you can see it up on screen already what it is, but um, if you didn't know about this van because a lot of people are not really interested in vans in GTA Online. Everyone goes for the sports cars, the muscle cars and the supercars. Not a lot of people are interested in the trucks and the vans and some of these really cool cars that come out that people have never even seen in GTA Online before and I bet there'll be someone watching this video who didn't know that this vehicle existed in GTA Online. This is the Bravado Yuga Classic, and quite obviously I've made it look like the Scooby-Doo van. This livery is almost identical. The only thing that we can't do is get some flowers on it. So, I mean, if you wanted to make your crew logo like a flower, you could kind of put that on. But, yeah, it wouldn't look as effective, but um, it's as close as we can get it. If you have the orange wheels in this paint job, most people will probably get what you're going to, what you're trying to make. Um, so it's really simple. Literally, I've got some muscle wheels on there, and I've just painted them orange, and then I've just applied the livery. The blue, uh, sort of the top half blue, that is actually a modded color. So you would have to use your crew color to do that. To match it because you can't actually match the lime green or the blue of the livery. It's really stupid, but yeah. So if you wanted to match either of those two colours, you'd have to find the colour number and then make your crew colour that number. Now the next one, I've not sort of filmed this in the same location. I decided to put this one on the water because that's what it is. It's an amphibious car. It's uh, Jeremy Clarkson's Toy Bota from Top Gear. Uh, he got a white Toyota Hilux because he's already proved they're indestructible, which they are. And he shoved an outboard motor on the back. Now, this is actually from the second attempt that they made amphibious cars. Because the first time he, he just stuck the outboard on and it rolled over. It did work, but it rolled over. And then the second time, he he didn't actually have a Toyota, it was a Nissan. I can't remember what type of Nissan, but I know it was a Nissan. It was white. And again, he stuck an outboard motor on the back because it worked last time. But then he put the two barrels as stabilizers. So, um, 
you can see up on screen that that is it's it's as similar as we can get it in GT Online. I've used the Technical Aqua. All I've done is paint it white. You don't have to change any of the um, any of the customization options because there aren't any. You can change the wheels, and I think that's about it. So just paint it white, and you're good to go. Unfortunately, we can't remove the gun. In GT Online, that's just stuck on the car, so it's as close as we can get it. Most people will know what it's from. Um, technically, it's not from a movie, but we're doing TV shows here as well, so yeah. And then the next car, we have the Toy Story RC car. It's called RC. Um, if you've never seen Toy Story, then you might not know this car existed. Um, there's not a whole lot I can tell you about this car. I've used the Bifter to make this because I think it's the closest resembling the actual thing. You could use the Dune Buggy if you wanted to, but I don't think that looks as similar. So uh, I've used the Bifter, I've painted it uh, green, and I've added the skirt on the side just to make it look a bit more like an RC car. I've obviously added the big spoiler on the back, and then secondary colour, I've just painted it blue and I've put some off-road wheels on there and painted them red so it's quite a simple build this one's not too expensive either so if you're going for a cheap movie car then this one is quite cheap I don't know how much the bifter is exactly but I know it's under a hundred grand okay so the next car we have the Monroe um, you might not actually know where this car comes because it's not actually a, a main car in the movie but this car comes from the Italian job it is the Lamborghini Mura uh, featured at the start of the Italian job film and basically the opening sort of credits uh, in the background of the opening credits there is a, a rich guy driving through the Italian countryside in his Lamborghini Mura, it's an orange Lamborghini Mura, and then he goes for a tunnel and gets hit by a bulldozer and his car explodes. So that's what you can see as the photo on the screen. Um, I've tried to match it as similar as I could. Um, it's not the most famous car, but it is a movie car nonetheless. So I've tried to match it to that and I think it looks okay. Now the next one is definitely a fan favourite of mine, it is the Tornado, um, it's actually the convertible Tornado because otherwise you can't get the white roof and for those of you who haven't already seen this, it comes from the 1983 film uh, Christine uh, which is basically a movie about a killer uh, 58 um, Plymouth and uh, basically a young lad purchases the car and it sort of possesses him or something it, it sort of drive, drives him to madness no pun intended there um, and basically it, the car goes around killing people it killed its former owner something like that I've not actually watched it but I love Christine uh, the car itself it's a really nice looking car in real life um, to make this, it's really simple. You just need the Tornado convertible. You paint the roof white, as you can see here, and you paint the secondary colour uh, red, or the main colour of the car red. Uh, everything else I've kept the same, uh, except the wheels. They are some low rider wheels, which I have then just put the white walls on so it matches the car most similarly. The next car, I don't know whether it comes from a movie or a TV show or whether it's actually from a game, but nonetheless, we can make this car in GT Online. It's from the Speed Racer um, TV show, and I think they did make a game of it as well. Um, not really too sure what it's about, but we can make this car in GTA. All you need is the Scramjet and you paint it white and have the chrome muscle wheels that I've got on there and then you just need to find this red livery and that is literally it. 
Then the next one is definitely my favourite on this entire list, and that is the three classic minis from the Italian job. I'm sure as soon as you saw this, everyone knows about this movie. Um, I decided to make all three cars as well. Uh, so the three identical Weenie Issy classics, one red, one white, and one blue, obviously from the movie. And I've even tried to put them in the same order as on the picture you can see from the movie. Um, it's quite a simple one. Again, uh, all of these are very simple builds. Uh, you need the Weenie Issy Classic, which I believe is about four million, uh, not four million, four hundred grand in game. So it's not ridiculous. Um, then you just need to apply the Tora Rally lights on the front. Unfortunately, we can't get all of the lights from the movie. You can only get the two sort of spotlights on the grill. But I thought it was better to have those and not have anything. And then all you need to do is paint them obviously the colour you wanted. And then apply there's some tuna wheels. I don't know the exact name but they're basically the mini light wheels. And just keep them the stock colour. You don't need to change them. The next car we have. Um, the DeLorean DMC 12 from Back to the Future. Um, I love Back to the Future, I love all three of the movies, but definitely the first Back to the Future, when we're introduced to DeLorean for the first time, it's a really iconic car, even today everybody knows what a DeLorean is, everyone has heard of this car because of the Back to the Future movie, and so much so that Rockstar have added this car into GTA Online, it can even fly which it could in the movie, they, they've added the hoverability from the movie. It's got gullwing doors, just like the real car, which I think is absolutely fabulous. And when you open the doors, it has like a little sound effect as well, exactly how the real doors sound. You can't get the black louvers on the rear window, uh, unfortunately, but um, yeah, who really cares about that? It can fly. This is another expensive build though, this will set you back about 4-5 million once it's all said and done. Um, so people will definitely know what this car is but it will set you back quite a bit of money. The next car is also another very similar car to the real thing and that is the original Batmobile. So we're not talking about the Tumblr Batmobile here, we're talking about the OG Batmobile here with the big um, jet engine through the center of the car. Literally you don't have to do anything with this car. You buy it and it's already black. It already has the wheels, it has the rocket ability. You don't actually have to do anything with this car. All you've got to do is buy it. Um, it's not identical to the real thing but it is incredibly similar. Um, so definitely pick yourself up a Vigilante if you like movie cars, add it to your garage. But again, this is another expensive one because it is one of those weaponized cars. Uh, I think the Vigilante is about 3 million, so it'll be about 4 million when you finish customizing it, sort of adding all the brakes, transmission, all that kind of thing. So the next one we have the Torero, which is based off the red Lamborghini Countach from the Cannonball Run, and I think it was also in the Cannonball Run 2, correct me if I'm wrong there, um, it's an 80s uh, movie, um, basically where there's a massive street race across the entire length of the United States, so they go from the East Coast to the West Coast, and this is one of the most iconic cars in the movie, because it's featured in the opening credits, so literally the first 10 minutes of the film, you just see this car being chased by the police. And it's actually white at the start of the movie, and then as you can see from the photo, they go for a car wash, and underneath the car is red. And that was a disguise to sort of get away from the police. So um, you could also have this white if you wanted to, but it is most famously known red. And also the cover of the movie features this red Lamborghini Countach. So for this one, just pick yourself up a Torero, paint it red, and then all you've got to do is apply the V-shaped spoiler. And apart from that, you're good to go. 
The next one is the Cheetah Classic, and this one comes from the Miami Vice TV series in the 80s. So a lot of these cars that we're going through at the moment are sort of older cars uh, from like 80s TV shows and 80s movies. This comes from the Miami Vice TV show series uh, where they had the Ferrari Tessarossa. Uh, that was painted white. So as you can see here, I've painted it white. Um, there's not a lot you have to do with this. Just pick up the car, paint it white, and then apply. I've just got some sport wheels on there, and I think I've painted them black as well. Um, it's quite a simple build. Not a lot of people will know about this car, but I'm sure if you mention which TV show it's from, people will Google it, and then they'll see, oh yeah, I, I know where it's coming from with that car. So if you wanted to stand out at a car show with this car, it's definitely... A TV show car because it's on this list it wouldn't be on this list if it wasn't Google this car if you don't know about it um, yeah it's a very simple build and it's a really nice looking car so our next car on the list is um, a very obvious one as soon as you see this picture you know exactly what it's from and I'm gonna say it's from the Knight Rider TV series because it is the main car in that TV series. It's it's kind of the main character along with Michael Knight. It's Kit from Knight Rider. Um, it's a Trans Am Pontiac Firebird that has a jump feature so it can like jump. It can jump in real life. It can jump in GTA Online. It has missiles in GTA, it does in the movie, well, in the TV series as well. Um, really simple one, you just pick up the um, Ruina 2000, which is 4 million, so this is a very expensive build, but um, you just paint it black, and then I've just got some lowrider wheels on there. They're the closest match to the real thing, they're not exactly the same as the real ones, but they're as close as we can get, so yeah. That's Kit from Knight Rider. The next one is not really a car, it's a truck, and this is also from the Knight Rider TV series. This is uh, the Goliath truck from the Knight Rider TV series. Now, if you've never seen Knight Rider before, you probably won't know about this truck. It is the hauler custom that is sort of like the um, tractor unit on your MOC. And you can see on the front it has that massive mesh sort of bumper thingy on. And basically it's um, used to bust out a bad guy from prison and then he also fits missiles to the truck and makes it basically indestructible so and it goes up against Kit because Kit is actually indestructible and um, the bad guy I can't remember his name he um, he finds the formula that makes Kit's shell indestructible and he applies it to this massive semi truck so um yeah it's the goliath truck very simple one you got to just buy the moc and use the truck cab you just paint it this gray color and that's pretty much all you got to do the annoying thing is you can't get the trailer so you can see from the tv show picture it does have a trailer on uh, you can use the moc trailer but it's not really the closest thing so yeah the next one you probably never even heard of this movie um it's the shelby cobra from the gumball rally and this is very similar to the cannonball run so if you've seen the cannonball run and you like that movie i definitely recommend watching the gumball rally it's very similar it's a big road race across the united states and there's two best friends one of them has a shelby cobra and the other one has a Ferrari of some sort. I don't actually know the model of it. And they both enter the Gumball Rally. So there is other competitors. But they sort of have their own race in the main event. And they try to see which is faster. American or Italian. So I should mention one of the guys is Italian. And one of them is American. And so they race a Ferrari against the Shelby. And that is the Shelby Cobra right there. So if you wanted to build this... Um, it is basically just a stock Shelby Cobra, um, doesn't have the white stripes on, 
all you got to do is just paint it this this is just blue with a pearlescent ultra blue and then just some very simple low rider wheels and that is pretty much all you got to do the next one is probably another of my favorites on this list and unfortunately i can't get crew logos in single player so i wasn't able to put the o1 on the side but hopefully you recognize this car um it's the general lee from the dukes of hazard so very very famous car even non-car people will probably have heard of this car it's a very simple build actually um the car funnily enough is called the imponte dukes reference to the dukes of hazard um you just have to put the painted american flag on the roof unfortunately we can't get the um the rebel flag to put on the roof which is a little bit unfortunate but the american flag is sort of the closest one that we can get on there um you just have to paint the car orange obviously and then i've just gone for some mercenary muscle wheels on the car um and apart from that i've gone for a secondary uh, chrome but that's all you gotta do and if you're online and you want to do this build you can also change your crew logo to the o1 and you could stick that on the side if you wanted to do that and uh, it's been in the game from since day one so pick it up the next car we've got the a team van and um, there's really not much you have to do to get it to look like that car either um i've just used the um the gang burrito i think it's called um it came in that color uh, i spawned it in in that color so you just gotta paint it black um and secondary color red which will color the spoiler and that stripe on the side and i've just gone for some mercenary wheels um and painted them red and then i've just gone for the custom wheels as well and apart from that you don't actually have to do anything unfortunately we can't get the sort of two-tone going on where the main body is black and the top is gray unfortunately we can't do that but it's very close and i'm sure people will know what you're referencing the next car i wasn't able to spawn this in in single player so i had to try and find the closest picture on the internet i could because my mods are playing up a little bit with sort of the new dlc cars if anybody knows a fix to that by the way please let me know because I can't actually spawn in any of the new DLC cars. They just disappear. So um, this car, though, uh, is the 70s Dodge Challenger from the Vanishing Point movie, which if you haven't seen, it's kind of like a Smokey and the Bandit style movie where there's a guy in a muscle car getting away from the cops. Um, I've never actually watched the film, but I do know what it's about. I've watched bits of it so I know what it's about um, this is a very easy build to do you just literally got to get the new gauntlet classic and you just paint it white that is all you have to do it comes with the right wheels it comes with the right look you just have to paint it white and don't have to do anything else to it so the me the next sorry uh, movie franchise that we're going to be moving on to is Fast and Furious. So you guys knew this was going to come. Um, so I'm going to go through them all now. And we're going to start it off with the Merryweather Mesa, which is uh, Roman Pierce's... No, not Roman Pierce's. It's Tej's um, armoured Jeep Wrangler from Fast and Furious 7. Uh, so this is from the scene where they parachute out of an aeroplane in the cars and they basically hijack an armored bus and this is the only bulletproof car out of all the cars that are doing the hijacking so as you can see from the photo he basically goes at the front tanks all the bullets and all of the other cars go behind him and basically use him as a shield this car you just have to get the Merriweather Mesa which you can get off Warstock Cash and Carry you just paint it this I think it's straw brown and then I've just gone for some modded wheels on there and that's pretty much all you got to do it's not the closest resemblance that we can get but it's it's the best we can do with what we have in GTA Online 
Now the next two cars are both really iconic cars and they're both from the Fast and the Furious. So the first Fast and Furious film. And this is the very first car that you probably see in in the Fast and Furious franchise. And it is Brian O'Connor's Mitsubishi Eclipse. Uh, so in GT Online that is the Penumbra. Um, the Maibatsu Penumbra. Which is Mitsubishi. Um, it's actually t a different model to the car in real life. So it isn't actually a Mitsubishi Eclipse in GT Online. That's not what this car was based on. But they have the livery that was similar to the one in the movie. So that's why we're using this car. Um, basically you just paint it lime green. Apply this livery. And you add the big spoiler on the back. And then I've just gone for some simple sport wheels. Just some chrome sport wheels. And that's about it. And the next car, as I mentioned, is probably the second most iconic car in Fast and Furious franchise. Probably with Dom's Charger being first, I would say. This is Brian's... Um, Mark IV Supra, yeah, I just had to check that I was getting there right. Uh, it's Mark IV Supra, or in GT Online, it's the Dinka Jester Classic. Um, you can actually get this car really close to the real one. Um, you just gotta paint it orange, you can get the bonnet, you can get the wing on the back as well. The wing isn't as close to the movie, but it's the best I could do. And then I've just gone for some simple high-end wheels um, yeah, there we go. So the next car is another one of Brian's cars, and that is his Ford Escort Mark I from Fast and Furious 6, where they basically try to hijack a tank, sort of, kind of. Um, so they're basically going down the road, and one of the bad guys has a tank, and they have to stop the tank with their cars, and Brian does a really um, cool jump sort of over the motorway in this Mark 1 Escort. Um, it's not entirely similar to the movie one because as you can see from the photo, the one in the movie had the stripe on the side, the white stripe on the side. Whereas in GTA Online it goes over the roof. Um, but it is the closest thing I could get. It's the retinue, the vapid retinue in GTA Online. And which is based off a Mark 1 Escort. Then I've just gone for some very simple tuner wheels and painted those gold. They're sort of like the um, the mini light wheels from real life. And then I've just painted it blue and applied the Go Faster Stripe white livery. And that's about all you've got to do to it. So the next car we have on the list is Brian O'Connor's R34 Skyline from... Ooh, uh, from Too Fast, Too Furious, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. It's the Elegy Retro Custom in GT Online. All you have to do is paint the car silver uh, and then just apply this livery. Um, the livery is already made. All you've got to do is apply it. Unfortunately, we can't quite get the right spoiler, but this is the closest one that I could find. And then I've just gone for some very simple sport wheels on the car as well. And apart from that, you don't have to do anything else with the car. Um, I think it does have neons on it, though. It does have blue neons. So I've not put them on the car because I took the picture in daylight. But it does have blue neons, so if you want it to be movie accurate, then do that as well. So the next one is, I think it might be the R33, it is an R33 um, Skyline from uh, the Fast and the Furious, it's from the first Fast and Furious film. Very simple build, um, again you use the Elegy Retro Custom for this one, um, just paint it yellow and apply the pizza boy livery which is actually a reference to the movie so those of you who've watched the movie will know that and then just gone for some very simple chrome sport wheels on there and then the wing on the back the wing i think is movie accurate correct me if i'm wrong 
Um, again, another very simple one, and people who have watched the film will know what this car is. And I think it looks quite nice, actually. So the next one is from Fast and Furious 5, or Fast 5 as the movie's called. This is The Wastelander in GT Online, and I don't think it actually has a name in the movie, but it's the sort of, I'm going to call it hijacking truck. Um, basically, at the start of Fast and Furious 5, Dom, Brian, Vince, and uh, Mia, that's it, um, the four of those hijack a train um, where there's some really high-end cars on a train, and they cut a hole in the train, drive alongside the train, and pull the cars out of the train, and then unload them off the back of the wagon. Um, you don't actually have to do anything with this car in GT Online. You just literally have to buy the Wastelander and it comes as is. Um, it's quite big in GT Online as well. So that's something to be warned about. And it also has to go in your special vehicle warehouse. So you can't store this as a personal vehicle. There's not much you can do with it in GT Online. But if you're having a Fast and Furious car meet. Then I guess you could take this. And most people will know what this car is based off. The next car is also another special vehicle, and I'm sure you know what this one is. This is from Fast and Furious 6 again. Uh, this is the Ramp Buggy. Um, featured in the film, there was two Ramp Buggies actually in that film. I think they were identical. The bad guy used it to escape. I guess I don't it doesn't really play a massive role in the film but it is quite an iconic car um, and it can flip cars which it can do in GT online as well um, it has a spoiler on the back in the movie it has a v12 which in GT online I don't think it does um, it's again another special vehicle so it has to go in your special vehicle warehouse and I think this one costs about 1.5 million so it's another quite expensive one but it is a Fast and Furious car. The next car you might not instantly recognise um, from the GTA picture. But I can, I'm can, i sure you can see from the Fast and Furious picture. It's the Lycan Hypersport that they used in the Fast and Furious 7 film. Where they go to, they go to this rich guy's like penthouse. And he's got like a flash drive with some like important hacking device on it. And for some reason he has it plugged into his car. And basically they have to break the car out of like a multi-million story um, high rise building. And basically they jump the car between three buildings. And they, they get the flash drive eventually and the car gets destroyed. It gets thrown out of the other end of the building and falls to the ground. And doesn't actually explode but it gets completely wrecked. So the, the car only has about 10-15 minutes of film time. Um, that's it. But it is quite well known and it does jump between three buildings. So for that reason it is quite well known. The next one is another car from... Too Fast, Too Furious, and that is Brian's um, Mitsubishi Evo. Uh, so for this, I've used the Sultan RS. I've painted it Jew Yellow, um, which is the sort of closest you can get in GT Online. You could have a crew colour, a modded colour, to get it to, to match the car more accurately, but Jew Yellow is the closest we can actually get legitimately. And then I've just gone for this livery. It's not identical to the movie, but it is the closest we can get. And then the spoiler as well. It's not the closest spoiler we can get, but it's the closest we can get in GT Online. The next one, everyone will probably have known about this car. Even if you're not a car person, you, you will have seen this car. And that is Han's Mazda RX-7, which also has the Veilside kit on it. For this, I've used the Banshee 900R. You can't use the regular Banshee. You have to use the Banshee 900R, which personally, I think, actually looks better than the Banshee because the Banshee it looks a bit weird. But when you wide-body the Banshee, stick a big spoiler, it does look amazing. Um, 
really simple build. You just have to obviously get the car first, upgrade it in Benny's, paint it orange, and then you apply this. It's just like a black two-tone livery. And then the spoiler on the back, you can't get the exact spoiler that it had, but this is the closest one we can get. And then the you just have to put the um, the wheels on there as well, the chrome wheels. And unfortunately, we can't remove the roof scoop. So if you're wondering why I've left that on, you can't actually remove it. You can remove the, um, the roof altogether, but you can't remove the roof scoop, which is a bit annoying actually, but... Um, yeah, that's the closest we can get. It's Hans RX-7 and it's a really cool car in GT Online. The next car, you might not know this was in the Fast and Furious franchise, but it is Brian's R30 or R31 Skyline. And this was featured in Fast 5. Um, it's only featured for, I think, about five minutes, if that, screen time. But it is a really cool car because Brian loves his Skyline so much. Um, I like that they've thrown the old Skyline in there. I've used the Warrener for this, the Volcar Warrener. Um, very simple, just paint it black, put the Mini Light style wheels from the Tuna category and paint those black. And then you just have to add the spoiler on the back. And apart from that, you're good to go. This car was used when they escaped from America. They went down to Rio de Janeiro. And basically, he drove from America to Rio de Janeiro in this car. You don't see that in the movie. But you do see this car sort of driving around Rio for about two or three minutes. And it's quite a cool car, so... The next car is from the latest Fast and Furious film, if you're watching this in 2019. This is Letty's Corvette C3 from Fast and Furious 8. Um, very simple, it's just the Coquette Classic in GT Online. Paint it red and add the wheels, that's all you've got to do. If they've watched Fast and Furious 8, they'll know what it's from. The next one... It's a 69 Charger, so it's probably one of my favourite ones on this list again. Um, to me, this is the most iconic car in the whole Fast and Furious franchise. And that is Dom's 69 Dodge Charger. I think it's featured in just about every Fast and Furious film. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it is. Um, certainly it's featured in the first film where Dom races Brian in his um, Super Mark IV. Um, quite a simple one, you've got to get the Imponte Dukes again, which is based off the 69 Charger. Um, Dom's Charger was actually a 70s Charger, I think. So it's a little bit different because um, Dom's doesn't have the split grille. Whereas the Dukes does have the split grille. But it's the closest we can get. So we'll ignore that. You just got to add the blower. And then you go for the Dukes muscle wheels. And you've got to get the chrome ones as well. And apart from that, that's about it. You paint it black and add the secondary in chrome. And that's it. The next one is also from the new Fast and Furious. It's from Fast and Furious 8. And this is another one of Letty's cars. And that is Letty's Rally Fighter. Um, so the brawler is actually based off the Rally Fighter. Um, basically they're tra trying to escape from a submarine. And Letty uses this Rally Fighter to get away from the submarine. So it's a really cool car. It doesn't have much screen time. But it is quite well known in the franchise. And I think it's really cool. The next one is um, another one of Letty's car. Well, it's sort of Letty's and Dom's. I don't actually know whose car this is. But this is featured from the very first scene in Fast and Furious 7. Where basically Dom is driving Letty down to Race Wars. And they're driving this Hemi Cuda. In GT Online, I've used the Vapid Stallion. Because that is the closest thing we can get. Um, I've just painted it black. Added some black wheels. And it's about as close as we can get. If anyone knows a closer car then let me know. But 
I think it's quite cool. The next one is also another one from Fast and Furious 8, and this is Tej's Ripsaw Tank, uh, which in GTA Online is the new Scarab Tank that was added in the Arena Wars DLC. So I think you can use pretty much any one of the Scarab variations that you can get in GTA. Uh, you've just got to take that big ram bar thing off the front, so it comes standard with like a snow plow. Just take the snow plow off, and apart from that, it's pretty close. You can't get the turret on the top, unfortunately, um, but you just leave it stock. It's as close as we can get. The Scarab is actually based off the Ripsaw tank, not specifically the Fast and Furious one, but it is based off the Ripsaw, and that was featured in Fast and Furious 8, so yeah. And the final Fast and Furious car we have is the new um, Bravado Hellfire, the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire, and that is Letty's Dodge Challenger that was featured in Fast and Furious 7. So for this one, I've painted it lime green. You can get the two-tone livery, and you can also get the ram bar on the front and the wing on the back. And then you just paint the wheels black. Unfortunately, you can't remove the splitter on the front. Um, it's as close as we can get it. Um, I've gone for a pearlescent silver. I should mention that as well. But apart from that, you can get this car pretty close to the movie one. And if you turn up with this car, everyone will know what this car is. So then we move on to our next sort of franchise. I'm going in franchises now. And the next franchise is James Bond. So the first one that we have is the JB700. Now, Rockstar couldn't have made it more obvious that this was a James Bond car. JB, James Bond, 700, 007. So um, if you didn't get that reference, now you do. It's based off the Aston Martin DB5. That is James Bond's personal car, I think. But this car has been featured in GTA Online since the very start. And in GTA 5 single player, um, there is actually a story mission where you steal this car from a movie set. And it has working machine guns, it has oil slick, it has um, stingers. Um, I think it has some other things like an ejector seat as well. Uh, but unfortunately in GTA Online they decided to remove all those really cool features. With all the weaponized cars we have now, they didn't want to have this car working. So maybe in the future we'll see that. But you've just got to buy this car and do nothing to it. I've done nothing to this car. That's the colour it came in. If it comes in a different colour then paint it the right colour. Um, but that's it. It's a really cool car and yeah, I, re I really like it. The next one is a newer car, and that is the Stromberg. It is the James Bond Submarine Lotus. Um, I can't remember which film it was featured in, um, so someone let me know in the comment section. Um, you just got to pick up a Stromberg and paint it white, basically, is all you have to do. Um, the Stromberg features the submarine mode, and... Um, yeah, it came out with the Doomsday Heist. Really cool car, not much I can say about it, but it is a movie car nonetheless. So that's why it's on this list. And the final James Bond car we have is the Spectre. Um, obviously, it comes from the James Bond movie, Spectre. Um, I don't know which Aston Martin it is. I think it might be the DB7. Correct me on that because I'm not good with Aston Martin. Um, it is under the Debocci family, which in GTA Online is Aston Martin. Um, it's called the Spectre because it came from the Spectre film. Very simple, you've just got to paint it metallic and then you've just got to paint the wheels black and that's about it. And then the next three cars are from Ken Block's Jim Carner series. Uh, so the first one we have here is the Flash GT, which is Ken Block's um, Fiesta RS, uh, Fiesta ST, sorry, 
which is the Hoonigan Fiesta. It's a wide body Fiesta. Um, it also has a massive wing on the back and obviously all the monster sponsoring on it. Um, I couldn't actually find a picture with the green wheels, but at one point it did have green wheels, then he painted them white, and then they were gold at one point. So, yeah, I decided to go with green because I thought it fitted the car as best as I thought. And then I've just gone for the Ragarum livery in GT Online and added the big spoiler. Then the primary colour is just black and the secondary colour I've gone for green because that makes the door mirrors um, lime green as well. So it sort of ties the car in a little bit. It's quite closely resembling this is what the car was based off, the uh, Kenblock Gymkhana 10 Fiesta. It's a really cool car and it drives quite well actually. The next one is Ken Block's Ford RS200 which in GT Online is the Vapid GB200 so you can see what Rockstar really did there. Um, quite a simple one I've just gone for a matte grey paint job and then you can get the livery I couldn't find any wheels that were closely resembling the wheels that is on the real car. So I just went for some wheels that I thought looked quite nice. Uh, just painted them frost white to try and match the, the car in real life as much as possible. Not much you have to do with this one. Um, I went for the, the bonnet scoop on the front. Um, unfortunately we can't remove the the roof scoop although I think the movie car does have a roof scoop so that's not too bad um, and other than that you don't have to do anything with it and the final Ken Block one we have is probably the famous the most famous sorry Hoonigan car in the world and that is Ken Block's um, Ford Mustang. It's the classic Ford Mustang. In GT Online, it is the Declasse Drift Tampa. Again, I've gone for the Ragarum livery. So Ragarum is supposed to be GTA's version of Monster, I guess. Um, primary colour black and secondary colour black. And then I've just used the iPhone app glitch to get the wheels gold. I think there is some closer resembling wheels in GT Online, but when you change the wheels in GT Online, they don't like fill the arch space as well as the um, the, the stock tyres, and also the stock tyres are slicks, which are sort of better for drifting. So I wanted to keep those tyres, and I've just painted them gold. Um, there's nothing you can actually change on this car, but you don't need to. Um, it comes with the sort of bonnet scoop on there and it has all the drifting and wide body kit on it. So that's all good to go. So the next franchise we have is the Mad Max. Um, the Mad Max franchise. The first one we have is the Mad Max um, Interceptor. The Falcon Interceptor. Which in GT Online I've used the Imperator, which you can see what Rockstar have done there. Really closely resembling car, you don't have to do much with this. Um, you just have to remove the snow plow off the front again and add the hood scoop. And then all you've got to do is paint the car black, obviously. I've kept the stock wheels as well because I think they're the best looking. And then you just have to paint the secondary colour in chrome. You could go for one of the metals if the chrome was too much. But I think the chrome looks alright on this car. And I also decided to add NOS on this. You can't see it obviously working from the picture. But my one in GT Online does have NOS. Because I think that's sort of quite cool from the movie. So the next car we have is the Big Mutt. Bigfoot monster truck from Mad Max and that is the Sasquatch in GT Online. It's a Chevy panel wagon that they decided to convert into a monster truck. Fair enough, why not? Um, there's not much you have to do with it. 
it is quite an expensive car though um you have to convert the rat truck in gt online into the bigfoot monster truck again you've got to take the snow plow off the front uh, but apart from that you've just got to paint it chrome i couldn't find a chrome picture on the internet so this is the closest picture i could find but just paint it chrome and apart from that you don't have to do anything with it the next one is the sort of semi truck um mercedes uh, i don't know what this truck has a name this truck has a name but i don't know what it is um for this i've used i think it's called the bruiser in gt online so yeah just convert the bruiser into this car and then the final two cars that we have on this list yeah we're coming to the end now uh we have the roadkill franchise and the first one you can see on there is stubby bob um Another new car featured in the Arena War DLC. That is the Vapid Slam Van. Um, it's it's like the Arena Vapid Slam Van. Um, you just basically have to convert the Vapid Slam Van into the Arena variant. Which shortens it down. Makes the back into a dually. Um, it has the engine on already. You can't remove the window nets which is a bit annoying. Um, you just have to again remove the big snow plow off the front and then I've painted it red here But you could paint it um, Sort of matte red or you, you could paint it whatever color you wanted Because the stubby bob the real stubby bob is sort of like it is red, but it's like rusty So yeah, you could try and find something like that And the last car is the roadkill crusher Camaro which was actually featured in our new piston head series so if you've not watched the piston head series yet it's basically like top gear on gta me and kyle have done five episodes of that so cheeky plug right now go on watch that uh, but in the last episode of our um piston head series i actually used this car and so i decided I, well i sort of saw this car on the roadkill tv series decided i wanted to use it myself in our piston heads series and then i remembered to stick it on this list as well so i've used the vigero uh, been in the game since day one very simple you just gotta paint it yellow and i've added some um, muscle wheels there the chrome muscle wheels and then i've gone for the blower hood and then to get the removed bonnet all you've got to do is open the bonnet drive fast and the bonnet will just fly off and that's how you get the removed bonnet look so if you didn't know about that now you do um unfortunately we can't get a removed hood option but it's not that much effort to just drive along and remove the hood so um yeah that's our final car on the list i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have then make sure to leave it a like if there's any cars i've missed off please let me know in the comment section because then i can make a new video um with that being said thank you very much very much for watching today's video and i'll see you all next time